late at night there were hundreds of people at the water's edge with binoculars and it then kind of turned into a circus. The internet got a hold of the story and all of a sudden our residents are getting calls from relatives on the East Coast saying that they heard about our alligators. It happened too during a, what's usually a slow news time. This just landed right in our laps and it was like great. <laughs> you know, it was a fun story, fun end of, end of summer kind of tale and knowing that people were enjoying reading about it, it was fun to write about it. I'm Jim Holmquist. I'm 19. I'm a Southern California kid who jumped on the Reggie bandwagon back last summer. I wrote a song about him. The Reggie story is one of the most original and crazy things that have happened in, in, to my part of Southern California. And, you know, it's a, it's a good songwriting material to write a story that's true and awesome at the same time. All of the beers that we have on tap here are named after local things. Um, our most popular beer is called Longshoreman Lager, and we named that after uh, the gentlemen and the women that work on the docks. Once we found out that Reggie, as it turned out his name is, was uh, from San Pedro, um, we decided to um, name a beer after Alligator Ale. Like Reggie, it's, uh, it's got a little bit of a bite to it. it uh, it's a little bit of, the flavor's a little bit elusive, so we kind of, we, it's, it's, a, it's a mild ale. We got word that uh, Reggie the Alligator had been um, put into the Machado Lake, which is the backside of the Harbor College campus. We also thought that it would be fun to do a mascot and make him part of the college because he really is in our backyard. William is actually the student <laughs> who plays Reggie. I'm ready to graduate, so I thought it would look good on my transcripts, and I took advantage of it. I would uh, say to leave them in the lake because uh, I grew up in this area and I never knew the name of that lake and now since Reggie's there I know it's Machado Lake and that kind of gives it a name now. We probably will have the legend of Reggie with us forever because he is part of our family now. The, the issues of uh, Lake Machado have been focused on since Reggie has come pursuit of Reggie has shown uh, that the water quality is not good, that uh, trash has accumulated in the lake. I actually think we're going to get more resources toward that park and I think um, at the end it will be a cleaner, healthier, safer place for the public to come. He's really become a bragging point for a lot of people that live here. Steve Irwin, the great Steve Irwin, is going to come to Harbor City. He again contacted us after he heard about it all the way in Australia, and he talks about his traps and his equipment, and that's what makes him different, because I said, gee, Steve, we've had Tim, we've had Jay, we've had T-Bone, <laughs> we've had the zoo. What makes you special? felt he was going to be the one to finally capture Reggie. i just leave him there. I mean, I can't imagine that he's going to harm anybody. We don't like being around people. Um, they're very weary of people. So far, it's been over $150,000 that we have spent um, really protecting the public, having lifeguards out there, having, you know, senior recreation and parks officials out there, animal control. Uh, animal services in the city of Los Angeles have been out there. Uh, at one point, we had a full-time um, veterinarian on call. So, save the resources. They could be better spent. People who live in Florida or Louisiana kind of grow up around alligators. None of us have really grown up around alligators. I don't think we actually know how they behave. And again, it's a wild animal. We want to make sure that it's handled properly, that he isn't injured or shot. According to most of the alligator experts. Reggie goes into sort of a semi-hibernation during the winter months. So when it becomes spring and the weather warms up, it'll be a perfect opportunity to catch him because he will have spent all winter not eating and he'll be hungry, he'll be more active, and he'll probably um, 
be more brave in terms of coming closer to the shore looking for food. Well, let's see. We've had Jay. We've had Tim Williams, who actually came twice. We've had the zoo. We've had uh, amateur people out there with chicken legs on a string trying to catch him. Uh, honestly, I think my money's on Reggie. Now it seems that the people that are interested in getting Reggie out are just interested in the fanfare. Well, we've got to recognize that he is uh, a danger to the park. We've got to recognize that he can't live in our park. They're going to have to do something about him, and I'm sure they will. But in the meantime, Reggie rules as far as we're concerned. People called the cops, but they said not I, not I. They called in the lifeguard, but he said, I'm too young to die. They called in some specialists from Colorado State. They said, we'll have this gator out of the lake. Nunca me on contraron. This is all I heard him say. Nunca me on contraron. Think that he's still there today. No come on counter on this gate has got this town on its knees. No come on counter on you'll never catch me.